Today we are going to create the WhatsApp voice AI agent as well as text AI agent that sits in your WhatsApp and answer your customer while you are sleeping. So let me give you a demo. So this is the agent if I write here. So as you can see it is replied properly. Hey, welcome to Tutsi clinic. How can I assist you today? So as you can see it is replying automatically. And if I call it, so for that I need to use my phone and I'm using for recording as well, but I'll show you how. And as you can see, this, this is a WhatsApp. Let me make a call. Hello. Hello. Thank you for calling Tutsi clinic. How can I help you today? So hi, my name is Lakshit and I'm looking for an appointment. Hi Lakshit. I can help you with the booking an appointment. Can I please have your first name? So as you just saw in my not so good video quality, I called the WhatsApp AI agent and it picked up the call and asked me how am I doing today and would you like to book an appointment? So that's what we are going to build today and we are going to build from scratch. So each and every tool which I used, I'll be telling you how to set up and everything. And also at the end, I'll be giving you all the prompt, all the template which I have used to build this thing. So stay till the end because we are going to learn a lot, learn from a mistake and I'll be sharing you a tips and trick how you can make this AI agent very fast and scale for your production level. So let's get started. So in this video, we'll be using the three main tool over here. First tool is called as Retail AI. This is the main voice AI agent tool which we'll be using so that we can set up our voice AI agent. Second tool which we'll be using is Twilio. This tool is mainly for the WhatsApp purpose. It allows us to integrate WhatsApp directly. And third tool is NA10, which is the low code automation tool, which we'll be using, which will do the connection between the retail and the Twilio. So let's see how we can set up each and every tool. So the first tool which we'll be touching upon is the retail AI. So retail AI is for the call operation with the voice AI agent capability. And it's a very advanced tool. So let's get started. So first do the login. Then you'll be seeing this kind of a screen. You'll be getting a free trial. And trust me, I am using the retail AI for a long amount of time and I have not done any kind of a top up charges till now and still I have $2.8 as a free trial and now once you are over here we need to create an agent so for that come over here and we'll be requiring a voice agent so we'll click on voice agent and now we require a single prompt agent so we'll be creating we'll be seeing how you can create a simple uh, prompt agent over here more and more complex agent you can create in Italy but that's for the future part so let's uh, click on create uh, prompt agent blank part and create and now we have this window over here so instead of me going through each and everything over here, let me show you what I have built and walk you through over there. So I have built this inbound dentist agent. So let me click on it. And now we have this agent over here. Now, as you can see, this is the whole agent where we have the name of the agent. We are saying we are seeing the role of the agent. This is basically the prompt which you need to write, which will be which will be telling the agent what is your role? What is the purpose we are building for you? So we are seeing what is this is your role? What skill your skill is to accurately data collect? polite and create a clear communication and strong knowledge of dental service. The objective is to answer the inbound call which you get from the customer, collect the necessary information and handle appointments and provide business detail. So you can see all the information which you want to write. You can say that you can give the knowledge base. You can give the business information as well. The operating hours and everything you need to give and this agent will work accordingly. Now you can select the uh, model whichever you want. So I am selecting the fast model but it, because it has the proper way of communicating. You can select any of the model and the prices you can see. Then we require the voice in which it will talk. So you can come over here and play it. Hi, I'm Adrian, your friendly virtual helper, always here to make your daily tasks easier and stress free. What would you like assistance with today? So that way you can click on the plus icon and you can listen whichever voice you want. I'm using the Monica because it has an Indian accent and it sounds properly. Okay. And once we have that, now I need an English language, but if you need multilingual language, so in multilingual, these are all the language which, which you can choose from Hindi, German, French. Okay. And it will start speaking multi-language. So whatever users speak accordingly, it will start also speaking. Then all the basic settings are there. Keep as it is. Now in the functions, just put this end call. What does this end call do? That if the agents come to know that we are on the uh, last stage of the call and we need to call, then instead of if we don't put this tool operation, the call will continue until and unless the user cut the call. So if we have this end call functionality, the agent can itself call, cut the call. Then check out ability book appointment. That's kind of a advanced part. If you want to see how, how I have built this all thing of booking the calendar, booking the appointment, you can check this video where I have shown in detail how you can have this inbound uh, dental agent call. But main purpose of this call is to show you how you can connect the retail AI with the WhatsApp voice AI agent. And if you are done with everything over here, you can come over here and do the testing part as well. If I click on test, hey, how are you? Hello, 
I'm doing well. Thank you for asking. How can I help you today? So this way you can do the testing as well. So once you set up everything, so you're good to go now. Now it's time to set up the second tool, which is called as Twilio. So this is the second tool which we'll be using called as Twilio. Just do the login. Once you're done the login, you'll be seeing such kind of a play uh, page. So first we require the WhatsApp number through which we will be doing the communication where the user can call call you. Okay, for that we'll come over here. On the left hand side you can see phone number. Inside that we have manage and click on the buy a number. And now we'll be buying a number. Just make sure the capability of voice and SMS is strict. We don't require MMS and fax, but we require the voice and SMS. So for that you can see all the number over here and we have the monthly fee. If you buy any kind of a number, you'll be getting the monthly fee. But don't worry, by default, Twilio will be giving you some kind of a credits using which you can buy this. You can click on buy. And if you like the number and everything, you can just click on the buy and the number is yours. Once you have that, now we need to connect the WhatsApp sender. So in the left hand side, we can see we have this manage part. Now we require the WhatsApp sender. So come over here and jump, search for sender. And we'll, we'll be seeing a WhatsApp sender. Click on that. And now we need to create a new sender. Click on create new sender. <clears throat> now select the number which you bought. And now you can do, uh, click on the connect to uh, Facebook. It will ask you for some minimal information regarding the Facebook. Fill all the information. At the end, it will be asking for the OTP number, which we'll be getting over here. Copy that and paste it over there and you're good to go. If you want to see this step in depth, I have created a, a whole proper video on this uh, topic. So you can check that video on the i button. Okay. So once you have done the WhatsApp center part, you'll be seeing the WhatsApp center over here with the sender status online. Okay. So after that, click on the WhatsApp business account ID. Now inside this, in the left hand side, you'll be seeing a button to verify your business. We need to verify the business. Otherwise your, the calling functionality won't work, but the text functionality will work. But for the calling functionality, we'll be requiring this verification part. Do the verification part. It will take around three to four hour or one day to, uh, for your business to be verified. For me, it took around one to two hour only, but it depends upon the availability of the Facebook team. So once it is done, now you'll be seeing the phone number over here. Click on the phone number, click on the more and call part. So once you're done the verification, now in the uh, WhatsApp account, you'll be seeing this uh, number, click on the number. Now inside the more, you can see the call option. Now allow voice call by default will be off. Just toggle it on, then you're good to go. So once you're done that, now go to Twilio again. And now you'll be seeing this WhatsApp sender, click on the WhatsApp sender. And now we need to uh, come over here, voice uh, endpoint configuration. Now we are configuring our voice endpoint. So come over here, click on and create a new Twimil application. Now create new Twimil app, give some kind of friendly name over here and now we'll be requiring a request URL. So now we'll be go set up our third tool which we'll be using called as NA10. So this is the website of NA10. Now we need to set up this. So come over here, do the sign in. Once you're done the sign in, you'll be seeing some similar page like this. Click on the create workflow. Now click on the plus icon. We'll be requiring the webhook. Now inside this webhook URL, we'll be requiring the HTTP method as post. So click on the post part and now we require this URL. Now we have two URL, test URL and the production URL. So whenever we'll be pushing this to production, we'll be switching the to production URL and getting this URL. For now, for testing purpose, we'll be using the test URL. Just copy this URL, go to Twilio and paste the URL over here. Make sure the request method is post. The same as request method we have selected over in the end end. Now, once you have done this thing, click on the create, give some proper name and attend test. And now we, once you have this, go to WhatsApp sender again, inside WhatsApp sender, click on the phone number again and uh, inside the connected to email app, select the app which you just uh, created. And now once you have uh, selected that, now come to bottom, update WhatsApp sender. Now we have connected our video with the N10. Now what we need to do inside N10. So if, now before jumping to N10, let's understand what is happening currently. So now what we have done, we have set up the Twilio. So we have the Twilio over here and now we have the n as well. Okay. So now whenever the user click on the call icon in the WhatsApp. So now let's consider we have this WhatsApp over here. Okay. So now whenever user click on this call icon, now what will happen? That call will go to the Twilio. Okay. And from Twilio where we have put the uh, URL of the n So from the Twilio, now that uh, call will go to the n -Ten. So now since we have set up our voice AI agent inside the retail. So now from N10, we need to call the retail AI. Okay. So now we need uh, another kind of call when we can directly call the retail AI. So for that, what we'll be doing will be for that we'll be going to the documentation of retail. So this is the kind of a documentation of retail where we can see in the bottom part over here, we have this register phone call. So now we need to call this API using which we can actually call, uh, actually call the retail AI. Okay. So for that, we'll be trying this API, click on the try it. Now we'll be requiring this API key. So for now, put anything, we'll be getting this API key. 
okay and now we require this ai agent id so how we can get this so go to the uh, retail ai agent so now over here you'll be seeing the agent id copy this id go to retail ai and paste the id over here okay once you have the id uh, rest all forget about it just come over here in the curl command just cho choose the curl command and copy this command over here go to anytime now click on the plus icon so once you have got the call from the twilio to anytime now we need to call this uh, retail so for that we'll be using the http import curl and now import it so now we have everything now we just need the api key over here so to get the api key go to retail go back now we have the setting over here click on the setting now we have the api key now create one of the uh, add one of the api key give any kind of a name and just copy the api key let me copy it we'll go to anytime again and we'll paste the api key over here okay now once we have the api key rest all thing is set so now one last thing which we need to do is now once we have called once we have called the uh, retail AI agent we need to redirect it back to the Twilio okay so for that inside the webhook what we'll be doing we'll be getting the response and we'll be using the respond to webhook node and we'll be getting the webhook uh, respond to webhook node over here and now respond with text and just copy paste what I'm pasting over here I'll be providing this everything in my school community uh, stay till the end because I'll be showing you how you can get all the resources so I'm going to my school community copying this coming back and pasting over here okay so now we have every bit and piece over here so now whenever you go to the whatsapp click on the uh, call icon you will get directly call over here if I show you the execution part inside execution it will sh it will be seen like this so we get a call from the whatsapp to the twilio from twilio to anytime so from anytime we call the retail ai from retail we again come to the anytime and from anytime we redirect back to the twilio and from twilio to whatsapp this is how all the loop is going on follow each and every step what i did and you will be successfully doing it now once we have the voice ai agent I'll be showing you the demo at the end because as you know, I'm currently recording in my phone and for that to show the demo, I have to use my phone. I'll be showing you in a while, but let's also set up the text AI agent. So for that, let's go to the Twilio again. Inside Twilio, go to WhatsApp center again and click on the number. And now we have set up this voice endpoint configuration, but now we need the messaging part as well, correct? So for the messaging endpoint configuration, we require this URL. So how to get this URL? We'll go to Anytan, click on the plus icon, again search uh, webhook, inside the webhook we'll get in this URL, copy this URL, make the HTTP method as post, go to Twilio, paste this URL over here. Okay, once you have done this thing, you are good to go with the Twilio part and we'll be coming and updating this WhatsApp status. And yeah, one more thing we'll be requiring, go to the dash, uh, account dashboard, inside that uh, go to the bottom part, go to the API keys, just confirm your account. And click on the create api key give some kind of a friendly name could be like something anytime test 5 or something because i have done multiple tests uh, and the key type make sure to keep it as the main because this is the key that we'll be requiring create the key and make sure to copy this sid and secret because we'll be requiring this to send the whatsapp message once you copy the sid and secret go to the anytime now instead of anytime when we selected when we selected this webhook node over here just keep everything we have copied this url and paste it in the twilio and http method is post now we'll be requiring the http method clicking on the http request and now we need to fill this url and everything so this is the url which will be filling so inside this as you can see this may, this much will remain same as it is now we'll be requiring the account id so inside the twilio if you go to account dashboard you will be seeing the account sid over here just copy this account sid go to anytime paste this account as id then slash message location everything remains the same now inside the authentication we'll be cl uh, clicking on the generic credential type it will be basic auth okay and then we need to create a new credential type inside that put the sid and the secret which you got from when we created the api key okay once you have that we are good to go now now we need to pass the url encoded body part so let's do one thing let's go to the editor and since it is active in mine, so I'll go to my WhatsApp and I'll send hey to you in execution part. So it just got triggered. So inside the uh, webhook part, we'll be getting this kind of a message where we have hey part over there. Then to and the from, it means that to means to whom we have sent the message from means from whose number the message is gone. Okay. Once you have that, now we are using the AI agent node. Okay. So inside this editor, we are using this. So inside editor, if you go to plus icon, search for the AI agent. We'll be having this kind of a node over here inside this node we require this body parameter so let me go execution let me copy to editor now we have this data over there we can see and mimic now we have this body part over here inside body we can see we're getting the hey message over here and now in system message we're giving very simple prompt over here that your name is caddy your role is as an you are expert receptionist for the tutsi clinic your job is to communicate with the user okay you can serve 
as much as much information you want in system message for the demo purpose i have given this much information once you have that thing so we'll be getting this information from the a agent hello okay if you go to whatsapp we can see the same information we have got over here okay once you have that now we need to send this message to whatsapp how to send as i told you we have the url we have the basic auth and everything in the two now we need to pass the information to the user so to the user what number will come from the number which you bought in the twilio will come over here just make sure to have the same format whatsapp and plus and whole number with extension and the body whatever we message we got from the agent will come over here once you have that we'll be sending this message so i hope you see how we can create a voice AI agent as well as WhatsApp text AI agent. It's very simple to do. Just follow the steps, each and everything. If you're getting stuck in any one of the point, just please rewatch the video and see what you might, might have missed. So you will be getting this, all the information from my school community. You can go to my school community. Then you can go to my classroom. Inside the classroom, you have the YouTube resource. Inside YouTube resource, you'll be seeing this said AI voice agent. There is a WhatsApp AI voice AI agent where we have this kind of a image where we have this SIP drinking data where we have the retail prompt which I used. And at the end, you'll be seeing the resource from where we call the register WhatsApp call. And then we have the editing template. I hope you like the video and I hope you understand how we can create the WhatsApp AI voice agent. This video is just for to showing how you can create the WhatsApp uh, voice AI agent. This is not very much production based. But if you want, you can create a very production base where you can use the agent to serve your user and customer. So please, if you have any doubt, let me know in the comment box. I'll be trying to reply back as much as I can. And else you can join my school community. I can help you over there. I hope you like the video. If you like the video, please press the like button. We'll meet in the next video. Till then, take care.